Hi, everybody. Andrea here. So we look at the teeth. We look inside the mouth. That is what we do. If you're not talking about toothpaste and talking about your client's oral hygiene habits, you're really missing the mark because if you're not doing it, probably nobody else is. So let's say you look inside the mouth, whether it's for teeth whitening, whatever, and you notice cavities or you just simply notice that the client has said to you they have cold sensitive teeth. Well, there are different toothpaste for all of those different things. You don't want to tell the client, well, just get any toothpaste you want. It doesn't matter because choosing the right toothpaste can absolutely make such a big difference for them. If a client tells you in their medical history that they have cold sensitive teeth, there are so many toothpaste out there, but I let them know there are sensitive toothpaste out there. Some people do not know that they don't realize having cold sensitive teeth isn't always normal. A lot of people do have cold sensitive teeth if they're eating ice cream. Of course, their teeth are going to be cold sensitive. But if they're walking outside and the cold air is bothering them, that's not necessarily normal and it can't hurt to try a toothpaste. So they want to look for the ingredient called potassium nitrate. So please write that down. Potassium nitrate. I like to recommend Sensodyne because everybody knows Sensodyne. It's very easy to purchase. I can leave a link for you guys down below the one that I talk about with my clients that will make them and their teeth feel so much better. But please let them know it's very important that they use Sensodyne consistently for at least two weeks. If they're just using it for two days, they don't notice a difference. It's not going to matter. They have to use something consistently for two weeks for it to be able to form that protective coating to start to work. And it's just toothpaste, so why not, right? Have them use Sensodyne. Take it a step further and tell them not to rinse their mouth afterwards. Because if you brush and then rinse your mouth, that protective coating, those protective properties of toothpaste are almost being washed away. So you do not want to rinse your mouth after you brush your teeth. Who knew, right? Not too many people know that. What if a client has a lot of cavities or you suspect there's cavities in there? Make sure they are using a toothpaste with sodium fluoride. You will hear me mention that a lot, plus xylitol if they can find a toothpaste with both of them in there. That is really good for cavity prevention, but also making the enamel stronger against little cavities that might be there and you don't want them to get bigger faster. So there are so many different things. What if the gums don't look very healthy? They tell you my gums bleed all the time. It could be because they're not brushing twice a day, but so kind of rule that out first. Let them know, well, in a perfect world, brush twice a day with a good toothpaste. Use the water pick to get in between the teeth because um, a toothbrush doesn't get in between the teeth properly and take it a step further and use a mouthwash. There are so many mouthwashes out there. Um, to keep it simple with mouthwash, I tell people to use one with sodium fluoride. You will hear me say that a lot and xylitol if they can find it. Um, quite often it has to be purchased by a dental professional, but now um, Walmart shoppers, depending on where you live, they are carrying some of them now with xylitol and sodium fluoride. So I can leave some links for you guys down below. Let me know though, if any questions, but just please remember, you don't just want to tell the patient, make sure to brush twice a day, make sure to floss every day. You want to ask them, how are you brushing? Are you using a manual brush? Are you using an electric brush? What toothpaste do you use? Do you like your toothpaste? Do you love your toothpaste? Do you want to try something else? Do you have cold sensitive teeth? People do not know that the right toothpaste can make all the difference just as the right shampoo and hair conditioner can make all the difference, guys. It's the same thing. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment below if any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.